looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over what to expect and how to prepare for the easter slash color smash promo now why does the easter slash color smash is because it's known as the easter promo right but it's called typically the color smash promo now I imagine that's for some like religious diversity because you know Easter is very religious oriented. So instead of calling it, you know, Easter for everyone that may not be inclusive of everyone, Color Smash kind of implies Easter without actually, you know, branding it. Kind of like how Christmas promo is known as the Zero Chill promo and Thanksgiving is known as the Harvest promo and Halloween is known as the Most Feared promo, right? Instead of calling it the Direct Season or, or it could just be creativity, right? But I don't know. Either way, guys, we're going to be going over that. We've had Color Smash the last two years, but if you played Madden long enough for a few you know, years beyond that, you knew it used to be called the Easter promo, I believe at least, if I stand corrected. But I'm going to go over what to expect, kind of what we could be dealing with, and kind of what I hope for. But before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, head on down to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Yeah, so first and foremost, in terms of the Color Smash promo, what is one thing that we do expect? And that's going to be the Easter egg hunt. Now guys, the Easter egg hunt, just like real life, when you were a kid, you know, as a parent with your kids or so on and so forth, if you just like doing it, there's rewards inside eggs they're colored and certain ones such as like a golden egg may contain better stuff than you know a pink or blue one you know so on and so forth so guys essentially the easter promo slash color smash promo will be similar to the zero chill promo if they do it right right now they could get lazy in years past they've gotten lazy and given us some washed out color smash promo but if they do it properly guys we'll have eggs on the store similar to zero chill they'll be like small eggs medium eggs large eggs rare eggs whatever they want to call them and you'll be able to purchase them and you'll be able to go ahead if you so feel so ready to do so, get some eggs. Right now, it'll be like maybe training points or whatever Easter currency we have. Probably Easter currency. Let's say jelly beans or candy, whatever. So you'll, you'll be just like that. You go here, it'll be like large, you know, small, medium, large, let's just say. And a random Easter egg, you know, 2,000, 5,000, 6,000 currency. And the random be like, you know, 2,500. And it could be any chance from large to saw, small to large. If they want to get real innovative, which I kind of hope they will, they'll give us a golden egg that's like one out of 10 in the world. And everyone that pulls one gets to make a golden ticket out of that as well. It's like an additional golden ticket opportunity. I've always thought that was a good idea. I feel like they have done it in the past. So I'm not wrong. Could be entirely wrong. I remember golden tickets used to come around around Easter. So I can't remember if it was together or not. But this is like, we're talking back like Madden 13, Madden 25, like that time period. I could be completely wrong right now. But point is, guys, Easter egg hunt's going to be super cool. Now, let's say a small Easter egg would be very self-explanatory, guys. It would be like a low color smash player maybe some training maybe a power pass right a medium would be like a low 90 overall color smash player some set pieces uh, again maybe training maybe some currency back and then a large would probably be a 95 overall color smash player or maybe even a hero and then let's say there's extra large eggs those would be full-blown heroes and then if there's a golden egg of course golden ticket hopefully right again that's just that speculation don't take me uh don't take me seriously on that one Next, guys, there'll be solo sequences, of course. There'll be solos. You're going to play through them. We'll probably get a free hero. If I do remember correctly, last year, we did get a free hero. So, of course, guys, last year, we did have the uh, the Masters, right? We had the 99 overall Masters. That was two years ago. Sorry. We had two years ago, 99 overall Masters. Last year, we had a 98 overall Master, and we had a 98 overall Master. That was two. And then there was a bunch of heroes and LTDs. So, if, if more than likely, the free player would end up being a hero for the Master sets. So, that'd be pretty cool as well. So that'd be like probably a free 97 overall player, give or take, which would be pretty cool. And then as well as guys, you know, the solo sequence would be not too long, but not too short, you know, somewhere nicely in between some currency along the way. So let's say we do jelly beans as a currency or little eggs. You'll end up getting like maybe two to 3000 free egg or jelly bean currency to go towards, you know, the store offers as well as a free player, some solo, some objectives and stuff. Also guys, last year we did have a house rule. So as you guys do know, we had a house rules that you're able to go ahead and do, which is pretty cool. You know, so it'll be over here. If you guys do know. It'll be on the left of C. You go in seasons, it'll be right here on the left, right somewhere here, the right or left, depending. And it'll be a house rules play through it. Maybe you can get another free player through there. Or what they'll do is they'll make the solos a free player and the house rules just be currency that you can acquire uh, to go ahead and get eggs. Or they'll give you eggs out of it, right? So that'd be super cool as well. Definitely exciting, guys. Color Smash Promo is typically fun. Now, they just have to do it right. Now, as of last year, Color Smash Promo did release, I would say, you know, it, it typically comes out a little bit before Easter, you know, like early april late march i'm pretty sure i could be entirely wrong but i do remember i took a trip around march uh two years ago and i believe color smash came out right around that time so i know i'm not too far off on that timeline but nonetheless guys 
definitely excited. Now let's go check out some of the players that we have had in the past for the Color Smash promo. This guy's back in Madden 19, which was two years ago, like I was referring to. We had our Color Smash heroes were Melvin Gordon and JJ Watt. Why are there four? Because there was four different total, there was two different of each, right? So there was a Melvin Gordon LTD that you could pull from packs, and then there was a Melvin Gordon that you can get nap by doing a Color Smash set. JJ Watt that you could pull from LTD packs, you know, like that, or a Color Smash uh, Nat set. Now, this is your, I believe, Color Smash Defensive Master, and this is going to be the Tie-Dye Master. I think the Tie-Dye was the LTD one, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, probably. Now, these guys are pretty good. Melvin Gordon, only at a 95 speed, though, right? Again, guys, like I've been trying to tell you, when we look at these stats, never take them literally, because remember, we are in a different time period of Madden, right? Uh, we were actually, I would say we're more advanced in terms of Madden cards than we've been at least the last two years, right? So in the last two years, it seems like Madden's been slowly trying to water down cards to make the game last longer, right? So let's say Madden 19 started, Madden 20 was like super watered down. Like they were trying to keep cards down. Like I showed you guys, one of the free cards we got back in like, you know, team of the year and stuff. There were some cards at 91 speed, like Michael Thomas, uh, 92 speed, 93 speed running backs. And this year, most cards get to 99 speed already, right? That's kind of how it's been. Um, but in these cards, you know, just adjust it. So let's say Melvin Gordon 99 overall right now would have a 97, 98 speed. Maybe, maybe 90, I would say 96 maybe, right? And then powered up, it'd be 99 with sprint and everything, right? Because that's just the state of the game. JJ Watt again. To give you an example though, now this is what's weird. So this JJ Watt 99 overall has a 99, blo we'll get 98 block shed and a 97 finesse move, right? Very similar to our current JJ Watt, which is why I've been telling you they've been making JJ Watt cards bad. But of course this JJ Watt is an increase of overall. So it is what it is. Anyways, moving on. These were the heroes. We had AJ Green with 92 speed. Imagine, imagine getting a 92 speed, 97 overall wide receiver in or April. Imagine that, right? That's what I'm saying. Things are a little bit different. Derwin James, 93 speed. Derwin James's 97 overall that we got for the Madden uh, Championship gets up to like 98 speed, powered up and chemmed up. So that just tells you all you need to know there. Brandon Scherf, we had DeMar Dotson, Big Ben Roethlisberger, AJ Green again. Again, guys, similar uh, to this. There was multiple of cards again. Miles Jack is going to be one of the other heroes. We have Aqib Khalid, Bradley Chubb. There was quite a few, actually. Derwin James, Tri -Tur uh, Trey Turner. These are the lower ones now. These aren't the heroes. Robert Foster, Charles Clay, Chase Rullier, Jack Conklin. Going on, guys. You can get the point, right? Went all the way down. It was a pretty expansive promo. Now, let's get into Madden 20s. So, this was last year. Ed Reed and Barry Sanders were our, were our heroes. So, in terms of that, Barry Sanders, again, had a 95 speed last year. Guys, if we had a new Barry Sanders right now, we got a brand new Barry Sanders, he would have probably base 98 speed. So that's just how Barry Sanders is built, right? 95 speed in April. Again, we had Ed Reed, though. So Ed Reed and Barry Sanders were cool. So as we've seen it, guys, there's been two heroes for Blast 2 Color Smash promo. So I imagine we'll follow a similar trend. I'm sorry, Masters. And then heroes, we had Khalil Mack, Derrick Henry, Adam Thielen, Kendall Fuller, Robert Woods, Ezekiel Elliott, DeMario Davis, Mark Andrews, Matt Ryan, Gary Slay. And now I don't remember exactly how these worked. I'm pretty sure Khalil Mack and Derrick Henry were Color Smash LTD heroes. And then Barry Sanders at River the Masters, and then the 96s were the actual heroes. Like, imagine Zeke. We had a 92 speed Zeke in April. That was horrible. I remember that card very vividly. Um, overall, though, guys, Color Smash is going to be cool. Again, if we compare some of these cards, like, we can get a Kalo Mack kind of guy. Like, those cards are cool. We'll probably get a good pass rusher, a good running back, probably a good receiver. Now, of course, the hero is going to, the uh, Masters are always going to be the meta ones. Heroes may have a chance at some theme teams and maybe a few teams, depending. But Masters are typically going to be the meta cards. Now, for this year specifically, I don't know. The Masters will have to at least be 98 overalls, pending 98.9 overalls at this point because of how we're heading. I'm not sure yet. We haven't really gotten official like base 99s consistently. Not powered up, right? Like just base 99s. We have not gotten like a batch of those yet. But maybe Easter's where they started at, right? It really just depends. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's color smash overview, how to repair, what to kind of expect. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, always smash the like button. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Uh, let me know if you're excited for color smash. Do you enjoy this promo? And yeah, if you haven't already, comment down below, like the video. If you guys need coins, head on over to Muck Coin Bank. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. And yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.